Hi, Tom Ace, Integrated Equine Therapies. I'd like to show you a little short clip on some of the big problems that exist with large intestine in horses, and I suspect people, dogs, cats, and so on. And that is a dorsal adhesion problem. What I mean by that is the large intestine really starts here at cecum, and, and then it goes down and through and around and back to make things short. But more of the descending colon as it comes back on the right dorsal, it then becomes rectum back here. So it travels fairly closely underneath the spine over here. So if you've had irritable bowel, and horses certainly later have, or toxic horses, and older horses almost all have this, it will, for whatever reason, this needs to be researched more, cause adhesions along this top line. So you can clear the entire spine, the blood, the organs, the nerves, and most of the muscle, and still have a very restricted pelvic action. So I call this technique, and I've named it after, this horse. This is a 25-year-old Arabian ex-endurance horse, Garson. I call it the Garson technique in his honor, and I would suspect he's probably saved quite a few horses uh, that were beginning to have uh, mesentery twists in here and that. So what it is is, and I've done other work before you even think about getting here, but the large intestine, as does a lot of organs, tends to have a left-right rolling motility that's moving along, and it's also part of the gait cycle. So as you hook into that, that tends to give you some leverage. So what I'm going to be doing is unwinding any obstructions to the top line. Now, again, I have not cleared the cause of this in this horse. There is a deeper, deep, deep, deep issue here, meaning it comes back from time to time. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to go left, right, and see automatically we're getting a lot of neural reactivity, and then I nudge. So what you're looking for is releases at the right hand. Right there's probably going to be one that's coming through. So right here, it's tight, I'm waiting. Let me get into the rhythm of this. Really good one right here. Now. There, so that was, uh, a lot of things are in that area. So let's move back now, Garcon, you ready? Initially, at the end of his career, when I discovered that technique, when he finally told me to do that, and I followed it and believed him, it completely changed and gave him another whole different avenue, including doing Tevis at 24. So, now I'm here, and, come on, Garcon. Okay, I'm going to keep moving back and hopefully I'll be able to see more of this release. Hold still. So I'm grabbing the left and I'm feeling it come over. And now here it goes. And I'm going to nudge. There was a nice one there, but not really big. Now here, over, and I'm going to pull. I'm going to hold it. Reset, recoil, and there we go. Reset, recoil. There was a huge one right at the caudal junction. And I mean, after all, see, he even gets more flexion on his own. These are big time releases if they're here. Let me just go a little further back right here. Yep, right now in the rectum ish area. Here it comes. Re resetting to the right, up to the top. I'll give it one more. And up it goes to the right side and then pull. There it goes. So that's an example of this dorsal adhesions of the large intestine or the Garcon technique that play havoc in horses. If you're interested in learning more, look me up, integratedequinetherapies.com.